And we're back with part four of this module on economic and hydrologic modeling. In this part, we're going to switch gears a bit and talk about hydrologic models. And specifically, we're going to talk about uh, hydrologic models that help us understand a phenomenon known as stream depletion. You should have already been introduced to what stream depletion is, but just to review very quickly, stream depletion is something that can happen if you have large-scale groundwater use occurring right next to flowing streams like in this picture. Right here in this picture we have a large farm that is irrigated with groundwater and that is happening right next to a flowing stream. And what can happen in these situations is the groundwater use, if it is sufficiently high, it will start drawing down the water in the aquifer and generate this cone of depression in the aquifer so that increasing quantities of water start flowing from the, the rest of the aquifer into the well, which is then pumped out and used for irrigation. And if there's a stream nearby, then you can get into a situation in which water from the stream gets sucked into the aquifer and then pumped out of the well. And this would obviously reduce the flow of water in the stream. This can happen because in many situations groundwater and surface water are connected and in situations like that stream depletion can be an environmental concern. So that is the phenomenon of stream depletion, but as you've also discussed, stream depletion has been a source of conflict in the United States. States have filed claims with the U.S. Supreme Court over the impact of groundwater use on transboundary rivers. So several states have sued other states, claiming that the other states have used too much groundwater in a way that the groundwater use has reduced the flow of water in rivers that cross over into their state. So these states are complaining that these states have reduced the amount of water flowing into rivers into their state due to excessive groundwater use. Because this is such an important environmental problem, we want to learn about the relationship between groundwater use and stream depletion. And the question is, how can we start thinking about that relationship? We can use several models that have been developed by hydrologists over the years in order to understand how groundwater use leads to stream depletion. One model is has, was developed in 1954 by Robert Glover and Glenn Balmer and this is a model that is summarized by the following formula. The formula looks very complicated but we can start understanding its components by looking at the variables. V is the rate of stream depletion so this is the outcome that we are interested in. This is the gallons per day of water that is removed from the stream when stream depletion occurs. U is the rate of groundwater pumping at a well that is causing that stream depletion. D is the distance between the groundwater well that is pumping at a rate of U, the distance between that well and the stream. S is the storativity coefficient of the aquifer that the well is pumping from. Tau, the Greek letter tau here, represents the transmissivity of the aquifer that the well is pumping from. And capital T here represents the time that has elapsed since pumping began at this well. These variables go into this function which also includes this coefficient 2 over the square root of pi and then what this part of the formula 
indicates is it is an integral of the function e to the negative z squared where z is the coefficient of integration and the square root of distance squared times storativity over 4 times transmissivity times time okay, this whole term is going to be the lower limit of integration for the function and the upper limit of integration is infinity this is the glover baldner model it is a model that helps us understand how groundwater use is related to stream depletion and to summarize because groundwater and surface water may be connected excessive groundwater pumping can lead to stream depletion there are currently ongoing debates and conflicts surrounding the regulation of stream depletion in the United States and the Glomer Balmer equation is one model that allows us to approximate the rate of stream depletion that is caused by groundwater pumping the exercise to conclude this part of the module is the following this ex in this exercise we're going to use the Glover Balmer model and we're going to use it in this particular example suppose that a well located one mile away from a stream is pumping groundwater at a rate of a thousand gallons per day and suppose that the aquifer that the well is pumping from has a storativity coefficient of 0 0.175 and a transmissivity of 9,000 square feet per day using the Glover Balmer equation calculate the rate of stream depletion caused by the well after the well has been pumping groundwater for one year so going back to the slide where we presented the Glover Balmer model we want you to use this equation in order to calculate the stream depletion caused by a well that has these parameters there are a couple of hints that will help you answer this question a portion of the Glover Balmer equation is also known as the complementary error function ERFC of X if you look at the Glover Balmer equation there's a portion that looks a lot like this and this particular functional form is defined as ERFC of X in mathematics it is the complementary error function so if you know what the value of X is then you can plug it into the complementary error function and calculate what the value of this whole expression is in order to do that there are a couple online tools that you can use once you've figured out what the value of x is you can calculate ERFC of x by using one of these tools online tools and once you've calculated the value of ERFC x you can go back to your Glover Balmer model and calculate the rate of stream depletion Good luck.